Give me the Cisco. Get it over with. No, he already knows what's going on. Just let's go. Get it over with. Come on. An Ohio woman is arrested on charges of involuntary manslaughter in connection to a deadly house fire. The victim was her own eight-year-old son. Police arrested Dakota Jones on December 12th on charges of involuntary manslaughter and endangering children. Body cam video captures police arresting Jones as she seems unsurprised authorities are at her home. Good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Dakota? Go ahead. Secret indictment. Mr. Ron for me. Dakota. Huh? Mr. Ron for me. Okay. Can I your Thank you. Dog will be okay. Yeah. Thanks for leaving I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, I'm gonna use it to call my mother and stuff and my lawyer too. So wait. It'll go it'll go this way. Nothing in your pockets on these. No, it's in my pockets. Okay, I just gotta check you. After Jones's flippant remark, the arresting officer then searches her to make sure she doesn't have any weapons before she's carted off to the back of a police cruiser. Give me this Let's just go. Get it over with. No, he already knows what's going on. Just let's go. Get it over with. Come on. <clears throat> on this side. What side? Other, well, you're pointed side. that way. You want your seatbelt on? Just go. She was then hauled off to the local jail. Officials say Jones's eight-year-old son, Wyatt Duchette, died in a house fire on June 7th of last year. Her 10-year-old stepson was able to escape the flames but sustained injuries from that deadly inferno. Police say Jones left the two boys alone while she ran to the bank, and when she returned home, she saw the house was on fire. The state fire marshal's office reportedly was able to determine the cause of the fire was due to poorly discarded smoking material that was left out and said that police believe Jones was responsible calling the fire a tragic accident. Jones later appeared inside an Ohio courtroom where a judge ordered she be held on a $50,000 bond. She pleaded not guilty to the charges. Next, we head about two hours south of Norwalk to Franklin County, Ohio, where body camera footage captures the moments five teenagers led police on a high-speed chase in a stolen car, then later crashing it, which resulted in the death of a father of two. The tragic incident happened on November 25th. According to authorities, Franklin County Sheriff's deputies received a call about a stolen Kia. A deputy later spotted the stolen vehicle and attempted to pull it over, but the teen started speeding away. We're still westbound. Beacon Hill, pressure on the ground. Then, less than a minute later, the stolen Kia runs a stop sign, crashing into another vehicle as one of the passengers attempts to flee. But a deputy's body cam video captures the passenger being quickly apprehended by authorities. Get on the ground Get right now! Get down on the ground! Run for me. Put your hand behind your back. I'm not resisting nothing, I'm sorry. Yeah, shut up, bro. 32 on custody over here. You got any weapons on you? No, sir. I got nothing I can stab or cook you, sir. And another deputy's body cam video captures the aftermath of what would turn out to be a deadly crash. Get on the ground! Get on the Get off the ground! Get off the ground! Right now! Get off the ground! Face down! Oh, 
I'm gonna get them here in a second. Boy, I didn't know. Put your hands behind your back. Can you untie my hoodie? Nope. I I won't. Won't. Stay right there in the driver's seat. After two of the teens are cuffed, the deputy then notices the gray Honda, which is an utter wreckage, as well as completely totaled. But more devastating, a person was left trapped inside. Hey, you got your breakout tool? You got your tool for that one? You got somebody in there? Yeah. The deputy then turns his attention to the driver of the stolen Kia. Due to the vehicle's airbags being deployed, the deputy then carves out a hole to get the teen driver out of the car. Step out. Step out. Step out. Get out of the car. Pull in on my shirt. Just watch him, watch him. The video then shows the deputies using life-saving measures, including the jaws of life, to rescue the driver of the Honda. Hey, boss. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hold it, dude. Hold it. Hold it. I already got it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I don't know. It was later revealed the Honda was driven by a local father of two, 36-year-old Matthew Moshi, who died later from injuries sustained in the deadly crash. You still have a chase? Yeah. yeah, this car was stolen. We we're west, or yeah, westbound here on Beacon Hill, and it just shot through the uh, stop sign. Where are all these people over here? Do you know anything about them? I don't I have no idea. They might be the owners of this car. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I cut myself probably getting them out. Okay. 36. 36, Deja. Where's the three? Uh, I don't know where they're all at. There were four total, I think. I saw two on the ground while I pulled up. There's one down there and there's one in the car. Okay. Yes, this guy was. T, I got one in T. I don't know if anyone's in 33. One in here. I think the driver of the stolen Kia was identified as a 15-year-old whose name has been withheld. He faces a charge of receiving stolen property. It's unclear if prosecutors have upgraded his charges or if he'll be tried as an adult. Okay, we want to thank Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring this body cam video. I mean, I think it's pretty clear from the body cams that we cover that it's not always safe out there. When you're hurt, it can be confusing. It can be scary. You don't really know where to turn. Well, Morgan & Morgan is actually the largest injury law firm in America. And at a time when you already have so much to think about, they're going to make it super easy for you. They have completely modernized the process because you submit your claim, you sign contracts, you upload documents, you talk to your whole legal team all on your phone. That's it. An attorney is going to review your case in just eight clicks. Also, they have 4,000 support staff that can help you too, which is just amazing to think about. And in terms of price, well, you only pay them if you win. There's no upfront fee. So if you're injured and you want to join the over 3 million people that call them every year, you can submit a claim at www.forthepeople.com slash lcbodycam or by dialing pound law. That's pound 529 on your phone. Next, we cross state lines to Michigan, where a motorcyclist jumped into the Kalamazoo River to flee from officers. We're going down to the river. Stop! He's in the river. So I'm going to get across to uh, the old Arcadia Ales. It happened on New Year's Day in Kalamazoo, Michigan. According to officials, officers initiated a traffic stop on the motorcycle, but instead the motorcyclist fled from police. At one point, the motorcycle was experiencing mechanical issues, which prompted the chase to go on foot. Body camera video captures the moments the officer catches up to the motorcyclist who jumped into the river to avoid arrest. Stop! He's in the river. So I'm gonna get across to uh, the old Arcadia Ales. Get out of the water.
He's in the middle of the river right now. Looks like he's kind of giving up. He's just kind of walking in the river. You're gonna go to jail anyway, dude. Give up. We're gonna need the squad. He's trying to swim down the river. He's probably gonna get hypothermic uh, soon. He's heading north. If we can get someone up to the uh, bridge on Patterson and that uh, park for Sluice Park, or not for Sluice, uh, the park uh, just adjacent to those new buildings off of Harrison. We definitely need the squad out here. I think he's having trouble swimming. He's going underwater. Then the chase turns into tragedy. If anybody has a rope or anything we can throw to him, we're gonna need it. He looks like he's drowning. Come on here now! You're gonna die in there, dude, come on. Dude, just walk over here, come on. We're gonna take you anyway. You are gonna drown in there, you don't get out. Come to the side. Use the current. Keep doggy paddling. Come over here, We're moving dude. northbound in the river. Come it's going to be north of Michigan between the bridge on Michigan and Patterson. Hey, he's under. He's underwater. We're going to have to jump in again. He's, he's right here, right in front of this tree. He's, he's floating too fast that way. He's right by that, he's right by that green box. I can't see him anymore. I don't see him. We don't see him. We cannot see him. In a shocking twist, the motorcyclist disappears into the river and never resurfaced. It's unclear who the suspect was. Authorities say they're still working to confirm his identity. And lastly, we head down south to Florida, where a TikTok challenge ends in the arrest of two teens. It happened on December 19th in Volusia County, Florida, when deputies spotted a Kia Soul minutes after it was reported stolen. Getting getting the channel. It's going to be uh, the pending signal 10, Papa Charlie Golf Sierra 26, Tallwood and Corlin occupied. White male driver, still normal speed. It's uh, covered in mud on the right side. Yeah, you can confirm if it really is stolen. If it is, we're trying to get on it. Corlin of Puerto Rico. He started the call, said the window was busted out. The right rear window's gone on this car. And there's a gun in the glove box, and he's. All right, we're going to signal 12. Got it. Uh, I got 12 left, Ron Cortland. Uh, I'm slowing down, but he's going to be coming up to El Camp here in a second. Two occupants, a male and female, I believe, but white male. I lost visual. Uh, I think he's still probably going to be heading north on Cortland, though. Silver Kia Soul has got mud on both sides. Back right side windows busted out. I don't know where it's at though, man. Shortly after, the body cam cuts to the deputy approaching the vehicle, which seems to be stuck in a marsh, but was abandoned. Ah, it's all ah, ah, going ah, us, and ah, so you'll be missed. The video then cuts to the teens approaching the deputies, and they were later cuffed. Officials say the two were taking part in what's called the Kia Challenge, a dangerous social media trend which shows users how to steal certain Kia and Hyundai models using items such as a USB connector and a screwdriver. Officials say the teen driver was later connected to several similar cases in Volusia County. 
Authorities believe the teens were doing the trend in an attempt to get likes on social media. Reporting for Long Crime, I'm Elizabeth Milner.